Hello, my name is Guy Magar, and I'm here to talk about my memoir, Kiss Me Quick Before I Shoot. This memoir is about my filmmaking background and some of the wonderful, crazy stories that happened during my career, including hiring James Cameron for his first film, almost decapitating Drew Barrymore, which I will talk about in a second, finding out my first producer was a mafia hitman, and all the wonderful things that happened during a movie career. I also got lucky in love, and I found true love, in Hollywood and also this is a story about healing and caring so if you love the movies and you would like and you're romantic at heart this is the book for you kiss me quick before I shoot and the website is kiss me quick before I shoot dot com <clears throat> I'm gonna read an excerpt from a book it's about Drew Barrymore we lived in the hills for many years and one night around 2 a.m. we were awakened by footsteps going up our exterior stairs to our balcony deck did you hear that? The stairs, whispered my wife Jackie as she bolted upright from a deep sleep. Yeah, don't worry, honey, it's okay. I tried to calmly whisper back as I quickly got up and grabbed my trusted machete from under my bed. Oh my God, what's that? I heard her whisper behind me as I raised the machete over my shoulder. I shook my head trying to clear sleep cobwebs and focus on reality as the steps were now creaking above us on the second floor balcony. I hoped it was a deer or something with four legs, as it had occurred in the past, but now it was clear that we had burglars. I answered, stay by the phone, dial 911 if we need to. Sounds like two of them, Jackie whispered. Don't worry, I got this. I replied as I moved in the dark to the door. I opened our bedroom door and felt my way to the front door of a house. They're coming back down the stairs, Jackie whispered urgently as she appeared behind me, but I could hardly see her in the dark. Please stay by the phone, Jackie. Move away from this door, I whispered to encourage her back into the bedroom, but she wasn't leaving my side. With her ear on the door, she whispered with a panicky twinge, they're coming, they're here, as we now heard footsteps approaching the front door. I was always determined never to be a victim and go on the offensive if intruders ever invaded our home. Though I could barely see her face, I saw a determined and fearless warrior standing by my side. We were a team, even then. The steps could now be heard just a few feet away from the other side of the door. Now, I unlocked it, flung it open and screamed like a maniac, ah, as I wound up the machete over my shoulder, ready to swing it down and decapitate the intruders. Oh well, if need be. Right in front of me, there were indeed two of them, with bug eyes and screaming even louder than me. Ah! Scared out of her minds, two female, terrified. There stood Jackie's friend Ildico and her eight-year-old daughter Drew Barrymore. Yeah, that Drew. I almost decapitated poor Drew, who was screaming in fear of a crazy wild man about to swing this frightening machete down on her. She looked as terrified as when we had all seen her famous scream upon meeting Spielberg's E.T. just a few months earlier on our movie screens. Jackie had been friends with Ildiko for years before I had met her and she had also babysat for Drew when she was younger. Ildiko was returning an evening wear that Jackie had loaned her for some kind of Golden Globe Award type function and she thought to return it promptly by leaving it on our balcony in the middle of the night. Not a good idea to sneak at our house at 2 a.m. After we calmed down and sort of laughed about it, we hoped Drew would forgive us and not have this horrifying machete experience mark her for life. They soon left with Drew still looking at me like I was a crazed wacko. Sorry, Drew. As I was putting my trusted machete back under the bed, Jackie asked, So when did you become a samurai? I didn't want to flaunt my, my knowledge of Kurosawa movies, so I just fired back. So whose nutball friend was that at 2 a.m.? All I heard was, good night, darling. Your Jimbo, anyone? Kiss me quick before I shoot. If you love movies and you love falling in love, read this book. Thank you.